He rode easy in the saddle, he was tall and lean, and at first you'd have thought nothing but a streak of mean could make a man look so downright strong, but one look in his eyes and you know you was wrong. He was a mountain of a man, and I want you to know, he could preach hot hell or freezing snow. He carried a Bible in a canvas sack, and folks just called him the Reverend Mr. Black. He was poor as a beggar, but he rode like a king. Sometimes in the evening I'd hear him sing. I got to walk that lonesome valley. I got to walk it by myself. Nobody else can walk it for me. I got to walk it by myself. If ever I could have thought this man in black was soft and had any yellow up his back, I gave that notion up one day, when a lumberjack came in and wasn't to pray. Yeah, he kicked open the meeting house door, he cussed everybody up and down the floor. Then when things got quiet in the place, he walked up and cussed in the preacher's face. He hit that reverend like a kick of a mule, and to my way of thinking, it took a pure fool to turn the other cheek to that lumberjack, but that's what he did, the reverend Mr. Black. He stood like a rock, a man among men and he let that lumberjack hit him again. And then with a voice as quiet as could be, he cut him down like a big oak tree when he said, You got to walk that lonesome valley. You got to walk it by yourself. Nobody else can walk it for you. You got to walk it by yourself. It's been many years since we had to part, and I guess I learned his ways by heart. I could still hear his sermons ring down in the valley where he used to sing. I followed him, yes sir, and I don't regret it, and I hope I will always be a credit to his memory, because I want you to understand the Reverend Mr. Black was my old man. I got to walk that lonesome valley. I got to walk it by myself. Nobody here can walk it for me. I got to walk it by myself.